just go with me reading our verse. Our theme for the month, A Comforting Hope. And join with me reading our chapter in John chapter 14, verse 27. It says there in Amplified Version po, Peace I leave with you, my perfect peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor it will be afraid. Let my perfect peace come in every circumstance and give you courage and strength for every challenge. Shall we give the best clap of praise to the Lord? We may now be seated. Praise be to God. Truly, God is an awesome God. Amen? And can we say to our seatmate, I'm glad that you are here. And the Lord is ready to give you comfort. Amen? The Lord is ready to give us and fill our hearts with comfort. You know what? What a nice month today that all of us is talking about a comforting hope. Maybe some of us were asking, why comforting hope? Dahil ba Mother's Day? <laughs> month of May is the month for the moms. And again, on Sunday, we are so excited for having a special celebration of Mother's Day. Amen. Hindi po nagpaparinig si pastora sa mga fathers. No? Malakas ang inyong tawa. <clears throat> so what I'm trying to say, truly God is showing a lot of things for us to experience how good He is in us. And talking about comforting hope, we've read in John 14, 27, that the Lord Jesus is ready to give such special gift. And it's all about the peace. And the, when the Lord Jesus Christ mentioned this John 14, 27, He is now preparing the disciple that He's about soon to leave them. Right? And then the Lord Jesus is giving them an encouragement that I am going to give you something special that you need. And that is the peace that comes from the Father. Sabi po natin, peace be with you. Amen? Can you say to your sister, peace be with you? Praise God. In our former belief, when we say peace be with you, if you are mad with someone and then you saw them on the other side, instead of peace be with you, well, peace be with you. You don't want to see them. But today, we will go in to talk about the peace of God or the comforting hope of God. And today, allow me to just give you our topic for today. It's about embracing God's comforting hope, a surpassing peace. Amen? Mag-change lang po tayo. Praise God. So, embracing God's comforting hope. So, when you say embrace, you're using both of your hands that you don't want to resist. I want to stay this hope in me and I want to stay that comfort in me. So, if we could just a little bit of review, what is our theme last January again? Ito na naman si Pastora, recitation na naman. We are believing hope. 365 days of faith, believing to God. All the things we will do, even we can't see what, we will, what lies ahead. So, believing hope, we don't know what lies ahead in these 365 days. Whether it will be positive, negative, but all of them, we believe God is working behind the scene. And the believing hope is an upward direction. Can you say it with me? Upward direction. The second thing is what we call February, a loving hope. This is an inward direction. We are God's ambassador of love. Amen? Who among you here are God's ambassador of love? Amen? So when you say February, we love, even though people don't love us, but we have to express our love. And second is that March is a, a month of what? A joyful hope. It means that there will be testing. Praise the Lord. Ang sarap magpalit-palit ng mic. Ka na. Umaubos ko lahat ng mic. And talking about uh, March, some of us are in the season of waiting. Who among you here in the season of waiting? Masarap bang maghintay? Ayaw natin, di ba? Gusto natin sagot agad. But we, whether we like it or not, in life, there is season of waiting. 
but there have what we call a joyful hope in the season of waiting. Because in the season of waiting, it learns us to be more mature. Comes April, we talk about living hope. Parang hindi boy na boy yung hope nyo. What is April? Living hope. And living hope is the season of holding on the power of Christ's resurrection. The reason why we move, that is why I live, that is why I move. Because I believe by faith, through Christ's resurrection, I receive that empowerment. And now, God knows that in the month of May, we are almost halfway. Now, halfway to month of year 2022. And some of us probably are already low bat. Some of you have low, no more energies. Do you agree? Some of you are probably fighting for their faith, losing their hope. Maybe some of you are still looking for God's direction. And today, whatever your questions in your life this month of May, I believe God will give you such comforting hope. Amen. Shall we give the best clap of praise to God? <clears throat> and you know what? I had this research that by nature, in psychology or whether biological, man by nature needs comfort and peace. Do you agree with me? Can you ask your seatmate, do you need peace and comfort? Diba? Every one of us, every day, we need peace. We need comfort. We need someone. And it, on my research, globally, close to 800,000 people die from suicide each or every year. No, that's one person every 40 seconds. So, ibig sabihin, while you're sitting here 40 seconds, there are eight people are what? Dying. Or one person uh, in every 40 seconds are dying. Why? Because they're what? Committing suicide. Because of helplessness and hopelessness. And they said that the common emotions, the triggers for a person to, to, to uh, have this suicide is because some of them are hopeless and helpless. Amen? Tingnan nyo yung katabi nyo, pulong puno ng hope. Hindi hopeless, hindi, hindi helpless. Amen? It's, 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 it's what we call the factor that causes a person to kill themselves or hurt themselves physically. Thus, causing a person to disable themselves to achieve a daily productivity. That is why even to the young people, Young people nowadays are easily to get frustrated. If they cannot get things immediately, they will get frustrated. Right? They want everything instant. And I had a, a talk to my daughter. I said, Mom, you know what? Young people right now are easily get frustrated because there are a lot of uh, expectation from the world because we are so inclined with social media. We are looking for appreciation of a person. You know what? What I'm telling to you, what matters most is that Jesus loves you so much. It's not what people says. God died. Jesus died for you. He loves you. Amen? Now, Pastor, how will you say that the issue of peace is something to be considered? It's like a pearl in the ocean. You know what? To seek a peace, a comforting hope, it's like a pearl, a single pearl in the ocean. And peace is something hard to find. Do you know that it's something hard to find but can easily be stolen? Example, some of you are just happy going here in the church. Then suddenly you receive a text, something going on in the Philippines. And then immediately your peace is gone. Right? Amen? You are, you are happy, celebrating, rejoicing. Then suddenly you receive a call. And then peace is gone. And taking note of this is I want to share that there are Total naman po Mother's Day, pahintulutan niya na po si Paz, no? Na medyo maikwento ko yung uh, anak ko. Uh, dapat pala hindi ko muna sinabing anak ko, no? There are things that I remember that so significant on my part that, that stole my, my peace. Sino po nakakaalam ng SM San Lazaro? Uh, if you're gonna take this picture... Uh, SM San Lazaro is very close to Kaloocan, my Paho. We love that place. Every time Brother Leo will gonna send us his monthly allotment, so alam na na mga anak ko, oh, SM. But my kids were been so, they've been familiar that every time we go to, to SM, alam lang nila kung saan yung pwedeng bumili ng toy hanggang dito lang, tsaka hanggang dito lang. Dahil yun lang yung budget. So kung may gusto sila, doon tatanawin na lang nila. 
So alam nila yon Kahit na gusto nila yun, dito lang kayo, hanggang dito, hindi sila alis doon. And there's such one time that I'm preparing for one of my daughter, tago na lang natin siyang pangalang Luis. <clears throat> Yan po yung edad niya. Tinago ko. Ito pong batang to, I, we went there to SM, and then, talagang pag may kwentong buhay, interesado talaga lahat kayo. Ano? <laughs> I'm looking for something there, and you know that in SM, there's what we call section sometimes, dun sa gitna, di ba? May mga pipiliin ka lang doon. And I'm looking for something for her seventh birthday. And here comes Luis, si Tax, eh, luma umalis sa tabi ko. Nandun lang siya, but I'm trying to dig some stuff. And then when I look back, wala na siya. Ang saya-saya ko pong pumunta ng SM, I have lots of peace. Siyempre may budget ka eh, no? And then suddenly, nawala si Lois. Hinahanap ko. And then, what, what matters that time is that not anymore the stuff that I'm going to buy, but what are most that time is that I am not at peace because my daughter is missing. And knowing that time, SM San Lazar, there's a lot of story that there are being, kids are being kidnapped and put into a white Ford Piera like that. So I have that scared that, naku, naku si Lois. Inisip ko agad lang ito kay Brother Leon ito. And then I'm going around trying to go in, uh, to and fro on that floor. And then suddenly I heard the customer service, Paging Lourdes Cruzat. Please proceed to customer service at the third floor, a second floor. Sabi ko, anak ko na yun. Bumaba ako, mabilis po akong bumaba. And here I am, and peace, worried, scared, afraid, no peace. And I saw Luis there at the customer service and waving her hand. Hi. And I said, Lord, takot na takot ako yung anak ko, kaway ng kaway. And I asked her, anak, ba't ka saan ka nagpunta? Mami, tinignan ko lang kasi po, di ba sa SM, yung mga tiles may iba't ibang, sinundan niya. Tapos nung nandun na siya sa escalator, he asked someone, nawawala po nanay ko. Pwede pong pakidal. Inutusan niya pa. He, she himself asked the, the lady and the security guard, can you please bring me to the customer service and page my mom that she's missing? Ako pa ang nawawala. So I went there and Luis is so confident at peace. You see how peace goes? You're happy, then suddenly it will be stolen. And that time, hindi ko po alam kung anong papa... Bumaba, alam niyo po yung escalator, di ba dapat dahanda? Hinakbang ko na ho para mabilis. Dalang inisip ako, nasa bar ko po si Brother Leo, ako, patay ako nito. <laughs> Pag nawala yung anak ko. And that learned, you know, the lesson in me. Pero hindi pa ho ako naisahan na dalawahan ho ako. Sino po nakakalam ng Grand Central? Kalookan. May isa ho akong anak, pangalan ho natin, tago natin sa pangalang Leona. We're buying there and you know, in Grand Central, yung sale, yung sa gitna, no? yung mga mura-mura. So I went there, sabi ko, anak, dyan ka lang ha, talagang kaalis. Saglit ko lang siyang pinaikot na tanaw ko naman. Pakidala mo na yung toy, hindi natin bibi. We will not buy that toy, it's not uh, within the budget, returned it. Ni return. Tapos nawala na naman na, hindi ko na nakita. <laughs> and when I hear that, Somebody, oh, may nawawalang bata. Nakit na ako. Nandun, takbo na naman ako. So you see, peace can be stolen anytime. Peace is hard to earn, but it's easy to be stolen. Amen po ba? So what are you trying to drive out here, Paz? Let us look at, when we talk about peace in an Oxford language, it is a freedom from disturbance. Tranquility, a state or period in which there is no war or has been ended. So in this world, when we define peace, automatically peace is considered peace if it's no conflict, no war. Di kayo nag-away mag-asawa, peace. So that's the basic definition of this world. But the Bible dictionary, the concept of peace in the Old Testament primarily refers to wholeness. 
total health, total welfare. It covers the sum total of God's blessing to a person who belongs to the covenant community. So we can see here that there is a total difference of definition of peace of this world to the peace of what God says to the disciple, to Jesus said to the disciple uh, when uh, Jesus is about to leave. Napakalayo po ng diferensya. Amen? And you can see that in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10, No eyes have seen, no ears have heard, not even mind have conceived what has the Lord prepared for those who love Him. Hindi pa nakikita ng mata, naririnig ng tenga. Even iniisip ninyo ang pwedeng ipakita ng Diyos sa mga bagay, sa mga nagmamahal sa Panginoon. And that is why the definition of peace of this world and the peace of God is totally extreme. Sino po dito ang masaya kahit tuyo ang ulam masaya po? Amen? Sa mga naka-Daniel pa, sabik na sabik na sa tuyo. All of us, that's why other people says, alam mo, even you're not opening your Bible, they will tell to you, alam mo, bakit parang lagi kang masaya? Tingnan mo nga po yung katabi niyo. Look at your seatmate. Diba? There's still smile and hope. Kahit may pinagdadaan, nagpapakanta pa. Nagsiserve pa sa Lord. Amen? Nagbabasketball pa. Amen? Bakit? Because the peace that we have is not the peace that based of what the world can give. Tandaan niyo po, pinakamadaling nakawin ni Satan ang kapayapaan sapagkat ang gusto niya maging mali lahat ng decision natin. I'm going to dig deeper on that. Why Satan is so after with our peace? Because when the person has no peace, immediately conflict will arise and he cannot decision very well. Right? So tingnan po natin. It was mentioned that 420 times in both Old and New Testaments by King James, no? Sa King James Bible po, 420 times mentioned the word peace. Peace, I live with you. Pag tinignan po natin, this is a common form of benediction among the Jews. And in Hebrew, they call it shalom. Amen? And in Greek word, they call it uh, erine. erine. It depends sometimes in the uh, pronunciation. But when I look at, I listen to the YouTube, how it pronounced, erine. Greek, New Testament. So, uh, th this word, basically, in the Bible context, peace is not only the absence of conflict or war, but it is also something better in place. So when we say to a person, Shalom, it means you are telling him, be well. You are complete. You are whole. That's why we say, say Shalom. Amen? Lalo na pag umalis ka at binigyan ka ng Sharon. Palabas ng bahay talagang shalom na shalom. Right? Shalom. And true peace requires taking what is broken and restore it to its fullness. Whether our lives, our relationship to others, and especially to God. That's why when you say to your seatmate, shalom, you are declaring wellness, completeness, total, no? complete, walang sira. I pray that you may be complete, whole. Can you say to your seatmate, shalom? Shalom. Amen. Shalom. Praise God. Hindi ho Sharon na shalom. Yan. Praise God. So, comforting hope is essential. Now, take a look at this. There are a lot of things in life that we cannot change. Do you agree with me? We cannot change things. It will, the only thing that is con constant in this world is change. And nothing in this world can remain constant. There is always a hole that will create conflict. So therefore, pass. what do you mean by this? If this life and in this world is living in a world of change, in short, every time may conflict talaga. Do you agree with me? Conf kahit gumagawa ka ng tama, but if you people are not doing right, maapektuhan ka, conflict pa rin yun. Tama po ba? If you are working very well in your job, you are so diligent, you are so efficient, but some of your workers are not, you will be affected. Conflict still yun. But you cannot change them. So what is the reason with this? 
There is always a hole that will create conflict. Laging may butas. So in the Jews, no, in the study of uh, the Bible, they, they they describe sometimes no the 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 word shalom. They consider it's like a bricks. No, in in, in the book of uh, Exodus, makikita po natin. In, not in Exodus, Joshua chapter 8, verse 31, they make an altar of a stone that has no, uh, that is not broken. So, the shalom, they describe it in a manner that this is being used to build the altar, the bricks. And they're trying to pick up the best brick that has no hole, that has no crack, that is not uh, broken. So, it's a perfect bricks. And and when they build the bricks, and if, they're, if they saw it's something, a hole, anything, the bricks that is not aligned will break the whole wall. Tama po ba? It is like the same in our life. Kapag may butas ang puso po natin, may butas ang buhay natin, tandaan nyo, wala kayong kapayapaan. Do you agree with me? And that is why people are trying to search, how can I find this peace? Some of them find their peace in their riches. Ah, basta marami akong pera, I'm good. As long as I have lots of money, I'm okay. Oh, as long as I have good friends, lots of friends, I'm okay. I'm telling you, everything will be gone. It is only the love of God that will remain. Aminin din natin, tayo pong may mga asawa, kahit yung partner po natin, eh, mga asawa natin, they cannot even fill up the hole in our emptiness. Amen po ba? Every, there is conflict. May hahanapin ka. Diba? Maring iba sa inyo nagpaparinig na para sa Mother's Day. Diba? Pero bingi-bingihan yung mga asawa. Pastor, nagpaparinig ka na naman. And then if it is not been given, magkakaroon ka ng hole na naman. A broken bricks. And your peace is gone. So, there's a lot of things that we have to understand about the word shalom. It is not only without conflict, but we can say that shalom or peace is always present even in the midst of trials. Yun po yung tunay na kapayapaan. Yung bang kahit alam mo na nasa gitna ka ng pagsubok, even you are in the midst of trials, you remain at peace with God. Amen? Palakpakan po natin ng Lord. When Jesus rose from the dead and He appeared to the disciples, the thing that God wants the disciple to learn is to learn to accept that He is risen from the dead. Pasa na pong point nyo dito. Alam niyo po kung kailan tayo walang kapayapaan? First, if you do not learn to accept the situation. Alam niyo po yung quicksand? When the quicksand, the more you move, the more kang hinihigop pababa. But when you accept your situation, dun palang unang papasok ang comforting hope. So look at this illustration. The inner peace enters when Jesus made a promise that He will ascend, no? And do not be scared because I'm going to give you the Holy Spirit. When, where, what do call this? Where are the disciples when Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene? They are in the upper room. They're scared. And then Mary Magdalene said, Jesus is risen from the dead. Come on, let's go. And some of them ran, and they outran Peter. Probably because Peter was still shocked. Hindi niya pa matanggap, totoo ba talaga to na bumalik ang aming Jesus, ang aming Diyos, ang aming Panginoon? So you know what? The peace will not immediately come unless you learn to accept the situation. Do you agree with me? So when you start to accept the situation, what comes next? There is comforting hope. When you learn to accept, Lord, I cannot do anything about it. I don't know, Lord, how to bear these trials. All I need is your comfort. I surrender everything to you. And the more you surrender to God, the more you feel the comforting hope. Do you agree with me? Palakpakan po natin ang Lord. But the more you struggle and you do not accept the situation, the more you fight according to your flesh. But the more you surrender, God, I accept the situation. If this situation is a test, I accept it, Lord. Give me wisdom. And the comforting hope of God will come. 
And from that comforting hope, you will experience an inner peace. Can you say it with me, inner peace? And you know what? I remember that, Lord, why you did not allow the disciples to go without experiencing the Holy Spirit? Before, in Acts chapter 1, you told them, stay first. Do not leave. Do not go to Judea, Samaria, and Jeru Jerusalem. But wait, wait, wait. Tarry, tarry yourself. Wait. Because Jesus has to bring what? Has to what? Uh, introduce the Holy Spirit to encounter the Holy Spirit. And when they encountered the Holy Spirit, they went into different places. Wala silang takot. No fear. They have peace in their heart. That's why John was beheaded. Paul, uh, uh, by the way, John was thrown no? into an island. And Peter was in prison. And then suddenly, hinahanap nila si Peter na wala nandun na naman, nagsishare. There is peace, though they know that there are persecutions. Church, maybe some of you are now being chased by these trials. Hinahabol ka ng problema. But you know what? Like David, let us face our own Goliath in life. Because we know that our peace comes from the Lord. Amen? Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Ano pong sitwasyon, what situation in your life right now that you are so much being pushed to the wall that you can no longer see and find the direction? I'm telling you, the more you are being pushed to the wall, the more you draw near to the presence of God, the more you will gain an inner peace that comes from the Lord. Amen? So, hindi yung pwedeng dumating yung inner peace pag walang acceptance. Mahirap pong maging denial. Tanggapin natin. Dahil walang problemang binigay ang Diyos higit sa ating kakayanan. Laging may kasukat na solusyon ang bawat problema. Amen? Why? Because what does it says? Look at Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. It says there, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your minds in Christ Jesus. You know why people are keep on struggling? Why sometimes we, we keep on struggling at paulit-ulit yung problema, di ka makagraduate. Because one, you do it with your own strength. Look at that. It says there, be anxious for nothing. Hindi sinabing for something. Nothing. Meaning none at all. You don't need to worry of none at all. Pass. Isang thread na lang. There's only one thread of hope that is living. Be thankful for that one thread. Because in that one thread of hope, God will make a miracle in your life. Amen. He is our way maker. His business is in the business of making miracles. Kaya nga miracles hindi galing sa madami. Mas pinipili ng Diyos, we are being pushed by the wall so His glory will be seen by this world. Amen! Let's give the best clap of praise. And ano lang po ang dapat nating baon? Peace. Yung susunod ka sa kapayapaang ibinigay ng Diyos. You will be at peace no matter what circumstances are around you. Lord, I will choose to have peace. Kahit nakakabwisit yung katrabaho ko, Lord, I have peace. I will not allow to be to stole the, to, uh, to steal my peace, Lord. It must be here in my in life. Bakit po? Ano po ang point ni Pastora dito? If you're going to look at Philippians 4, 6, 7, what a powerful verse reminding us that God is ready to give His peace on us. When Jesus met the disciples after He rose from the dead, after His resurrection, hindi nga sanabing, joy be with you. Ano pong sinalubong niya? Peace be with you. Because Jesus knew that all their hearts, hearts are full of fear. Alam ng Diyos ang takot ng puso natin. Alam ng Diyos ang hinaharap ng puso natin. God knows the content of our hearts. We cannot hide from God. And that is why that moment, Jesus said, Peace be with you. Philippians 4, 6, 7, as I've said, it says there, But in everything, by prayer and petition, 
and thanksgiving. Sinakop na lahat. Pas hindi nga sinusulp pa eh. Kaya nga manalangin ka. Magpetition ka. At pagtatapos mong manalangin, pasalamatan mo na. Amen. Just give thanks to God. He did not end up there by prayer and petition. Present your request to God. He says that with thanksgiving because I'm going to make a way when there seems to be no way. With, with thanksgiving. When God, I'm always saying this, I realize in my Christian living that when God started great things, He will not end it up with an exclamation point. He will always end up our destiny with an exclamation point. And it said, it is finished. Tetelestai. I am doing great and mighty things in your life. Amen. And why not we have to gain that peace? Peace of God. Hallelujah. And you know what is amazing here? Which surpasses. Can we flash again the slide? Which surpasses all understanding. Alam niyo po yung surpasses, tumatagos kahit bato. Hello? Take note of this. Read this verse. What a powerful revelation. It surpasses all understanding. When you say surpasses, kahit ano pa yan, Jericho wall man yan, Berlin wall man ang hinahanap nyo, God will make a way when there seems to be no way because you have the peace of God. When you talk about surpasses all understanding, the more you become still to the Lord, the more you understand His move. Amen? Do you get my point? The more you become peace at peace and you are enjoying the comforting hope of God, He is doing His part. In Tagalog po minsan, hindi makagalaw ang Lord sa atin kasi nakikialam tayo sa plano Niya. Kaya sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag kang makialam. Let God be God. Amen! Palakpakan po natin ang Diyos. Let God be God. And it says there, will guard your minds. Why mind, not heart? Because the actual context of peace is not coming from the heart. It first goes in your mind. That is why there is always battle of the mind. Amen! Nandito lagi ang laban eh. Aaten ako, hindi. Magsi-church ako, hindi. Magsi-serve ako, hindi. Magtatago ako, hindi. Tataguan ko si life group leader, hindi. Si? Bata ko, bata ko. Eh, ikaw, ikaw eh. Ikaw ang tinawag eh. Amen? There is always battle in the mind. That's why our mind in Romans chapter 12, there must be transformation of the mind. Amen? Yung dati dito ang malalahanin. Sino dati dito ang malalahanin? Kunting bagay lang, parang overthinker ka. Parang hindi ka lang binati, halimbawa nung isa mong kasama, hindi ako binati. Sino uli ko naman yung tupperware niya? Hindi ako binati, Pas. Wala naman ako nasabi. Ang dami mo nang inisip. Naku, baka nung... Eh, ten, ten years ago na yon. That is the very essence. Yung tool ni Satan is to get our peace. Did you know if you have no peace, hindi ka makagalaw? Do you agree with me? Pag start ka ng walang kapayapaan, hindi ka makapag-decide ng tama. That's why the Lord, when He met the disciple, peace be with you. And from starting point, parang gusto sabi ni Jesus, with my peace, you will reach this world for Christ. Amen? Now, the foundation of peace is that God is the source of our peace. Amen? God is the source of our peace. John 3.16, which all of you are familiar with this, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him should not perish but have an eternal life. So ano pang dahilan para mag-struggle ka sa pananampalataya mo? Gayong ang Diyos, ibinigay na niyang kanyang kap, isa-isang bugtong na anak upang ikaw at ako'y ma-reconcile sa Diyos Ama. Amen? God is the source of peace. When He gave His Son, automatically, we have a restored relationship with God. Kaya hindi na tayo nakikipag-away sa Lord ngayon. We become the children of God. 
Amen. Palakpakan nga po natin ng Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the ultimate connection to find genuine peace. Tandaan niyo po yan. Huwag po ninyong kaingitan ng mga taong nagtatagumpay galing sa kasamaan. Sapagkat ang lahat ng yan ay pansamantala lang. Ngunit iba po, there's a different peace if the peace is being what? Originated in the hands of God. Amen? In the book of uh, Proverbs, I think that some boast in chariot, some boast in horses, but we will boast in the name of the Lord. Amen? Ang season po ng Diyos sa atin is totally different for the, from the, uh, to the season of the wicked. That is why when we're asking, Lord, nawawala yung peace ko, it's nice to be honest with God if sometimes you lose your peace. Parang pas, I've been shaken. Honestly po, nawawala yung kapayapaan ko. Then go back. Who is the connection of your peace? The ultimate connection of your peace is Jesus Christ. What is that says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3.16? It says there, Now, may the Lord of peace Himself, the Lord Himself, no? Give you peace at all times. Can you say it with me? All times. Sinabi ba diyang sometime? It says there, all times. Anytime the peace of God is available. If you are being shaken, like the, the song that we sang ago. What is that? Unshakable. Unstoppable. Amen? Ano pang an-an yan? Unshakable, unchangeable, unstoppable. He will remain God. Why? He is still sitting on the throne. And as long as God is sitting on the throne, He is in control of everything that is going on in our life. Amen? Palakpakan po natin ang Lord. Hallelujah! So when sometimes your peace is being shaken, just go to the cross. Bumalik ka sa power of the cross. He is the genuine Uh, source of our peace, Jesus Christ Himself. He Himself, napakliwanag po ng verse, He Himself give you peace at all times, in every way. This is what I like. In all times, at all times, and in every way. Sa lahat ng panahon, sa lahat ng pagkakataon, ang kapayapaan ng Lord ay ibinibigay niya sa atin. When we just learn first to accept, And let God move on His way. What does the song says? Sa lahat ng panahon, Diyos ka sa amin. Sa lahat ng oras, nariyan para sa akin. Panginoong Yesus, maghari ka. Dakilain ka sa buhay ko, aming Ama. You know what? If God the Father give His one and only begotten Son, Jesus, how much more the peace that you need in this point of time? And then another foundation of peace is that the Holy Spirit is the producer of peace in our heart. Sino po dito sometimes when you are struggling and then when you start to worship the Lord, eventually nakakalma ka. No? Parang tranquilizer ba yun? Yung worship, when you start to worship God, even though Lord, I'm being shaken, I just want to worship. That's only, that's only what I want to do. And then suddenly, yung, yung puso mo, hinihele ng Lord. Sabi sa Psalms, like a wind child with his mother. Like a wind child is my soul. I have still and quieted my soul. Napansin niyo po ang mga tatay, pag buhat yung anak, tapos nagwawala. Napapatahimik ba? Damor na nagwawala. Bigay mo sa nanay. ba? Diba? Anong magic kaya nung nanay? Nasa Bible eh. Like a wind child with his mother. Siguro yung tatay, tahimik ka na pag di ka tumigil. Ang nanay, dikit mo lang din. Tahimik. Tama ho ba? Sino po naka-experience sa mga tatay pag nagpapatahimik? Na sumusuko kayo. Kunin mo na nga ito, ayaw. <laughs> Tama ho ba? Pero pag nanay, saglit lang. Tahimik. Ganun po ang presensya ng Diyos. Like a wind child with His mother. Like a wind child is my soul. 
sa lahat po ng umahanap ng tunay na kapayapaan, hanapin niyo po ang malabay na kamay ng Panginoon at siyang aakap po sa bawat isa sa atin. Amen? Shall we give the best cup of praise to the Lord? And the Holy Spirit will produce such peace. That passes all understanding. Yung bang humahak bang ka, you just continue to step on every situation even though you don't understand. Lord, you said in Philippians that it passes all understanding. The peace that you have will pass it all understanding. Kahit naguguluan ka pa sa step 3, sa step 4, Lord, you said it will pass all our understanding. All I have to do is to step, to step, to step, and then one day, the Lord will reveal His Shekinah glory in your life. Alam niyo po yung may dinadaanan kayong talahib, hinahawi niyo eh. Hello? Ang isang kristyanong mayroong kapayapaan, anumang pagdaanan niya, parang talahib lang yan, tatawirin mo yan, hanggang makarating ka dun sa pangpang na gusto mong puntahan. God allow us to pass that rugged cross to test the level of our peace. Amen? And then the second thing in Matthew 10, 12 to 13, Tingnan niyo po ito. As you enter the home, napakahalaga po yung word na shalom. And it is so biblical, erine, no? In Matthew 10, 12, 13, as you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home. No? Leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. If it is what? It is invocation of the blessing of peace and happiness. Sa Matthew po, nung panahon nun, no, mga Jew, pag hindi sila nasayahan dun, papagpag nila yung paan nila, hindi nila iiwan yung peace. Napakalaga ng salitang peace. It is a common greetings. Ngayon ang greetings, Hi! Hello! Siguro this time, simula natin, shalom. Ayun, again, no, not sharon na shalom. Baka mamaya, shalom, tapos may hawa kayong tupperware. Ha? Shalom. Amen. Can you get somebody to the right and to the left, say shalom. shalom. To, the, to your back, say shalom. Amen. Shalom. The comfort, the peace of God be upon you. Amen. Shalom. Palakpakan po natin ng Lord. Hallelujah. Truly in this world, things are so unpredictable. Unpredictable. Who am I or who are we that we can predict that 2020 pandemic? No one have even predicted that. All of us were shocked. Some were, I have no job, laid off, napektuhan ng recession, business have been affected. But why we are here right now? Naglakihan nga tayo ng pandemic eh. Sino magsasabing pinagkulangan tayo ng Diyos? We are still blessed. Amen. Because we have the living hope. And now, Pastor, what does it mean? One, peace I live with you. Ano po ang point po dito? In the sense po, no? If we're going to look at John chapter 14, 27, isa-isahin po natin. I'll just want to point out, praise by praise, this verse. In one sense, Jesus is living to them. No? Jesus is preparing their hearts. I'm living with you soon. He has walked with the body three, with the, bo with the disciples three years. Imagine three years. They have been so close with Jesus. They've been the witness of miracles. And yet suddenly, nawala yung kanilang tapang. Nagtago sa upper room. Nawala ang peace. Where are those miracles? Where are those experiences of great miracles God has showed to them? But nawala. Alam po natin yan, lahat tayo. Settled tayo in so many things. That's why, brothers and sisters in Christ, truly indeed, no one can boast for tomorrow. Wala talagang pwedeng magmayabang. Sa mababali, ha? Pumanaw na siya, kausap ko lang siya. You see? Those are the things that shaken us our peers, our peace. And take note of this that they have a personal encounter with God. Jesus experience, let them experience the miracles, see the miracles, and then that they cause them to believe. But when Jesus 
uh, departed. Three days, he rose from the dead. Dun palang uli bumalik yung peace nila. And that is why Jesus said, Oh, uh oh, this is the peace now I'm going to leave you. Please understand this peace. Because you will not see me anymore physically. But I'm, one thing that I assure you, I'm going to give the Holy Spirit your comforter. Amen. Your deliverer. Kaya nga minsan, nagsasalita tayong mag-isa, di ba? We are talking to the Holy Spirit. No? And peace I leave unto you. The context of speaks is the departure, the preparation. Tingnan niyo po, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. For He Himself is our peace. Who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility? Si Jesus po ang unang nagbigay ng kapayapaan. And that is why in the season that we are in the, uh, in the period of test, instead of running to your friends first, crying of all your concern, first, go to the Lord and reconcile your peace to God. Amen? Palakpakan po natin ang Lord. I am always saying this, do not go to the phone. Go first to the throne and reconcile your peace to God because He Himself is the author of our peace. Alam niyo po ang isang strategy ni Satan when we are in trouble and we need comfort. Ang gusto niya, pakinggan natin immediately yung dictate ng flesh natin. Ano po yun? Magalit ka. Diba? When sudden conflict came in, yung mga bagay na hindi dapat sabihin na sasabi mo. Why? You know what? It should be a practice for us that this bond of comforting hope, whatever your struggle is, before you open your mouth, pray na lang. Pray first. Reconcile your peace to God. Lord, aaminin ko, nawawala ang kapayapaan ko ngayon. Naiinis ako ngayon, Lord. Nawawala, Lord, yung pasensya ko. Lord, give me that peace. Because He Himself is the author of peace. He said there, peace I live with you. It is a personalized peace. And then, take note of this, brothers. Says their brother, sister, my peace I give you. If you're going to look at these two phrases, peace I live with you. Peace I give you. Alam niyo po yung sandwich. Ako na yung kapayapaan, ipasok mo pa ako sa buhay mo dahil ako ang kapayapaan. What does it mean, Paz? In the context of my peace I give you, in Romans 5.1, it says there, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The reason why we cannot have peace is because any moment, Satan is offering the spirit of condemnation. Talaga bang kristyano ka? Talaga bang tinubos ka ni Jesus? Eh, ayan na naman ang ginagawa mo. But you know what? The first thing that Satan wants us is to confuse us because he is the father of all lies. Amen? He wants us to feel that we are unworthy, that we cannot do anything. It is what we call insignificant that Jesus leave His very own peace with them. Lord, iniwanan mo yung peace mo? Personalize. Kaya anong dahilan para mangamba ka? What's the reason for you to struggle where God Himself, He Himself is giving His life to you? That's why in the book of John, it says there, Live on in my love for there's no greater love than this than to lay down His life for His friend. We are a friend of God. Amen? Pumalakpak po yung kaibigan ng Diyos dito. Amen? We are a friend of God. Minsan po sa mga may mga anak na kabataan, minsan nakaka-jelly, di ba? Minsan mas nag open sila sa friends kaysa sa mom and dad. Ano bang meron yung friends? Right? And then, it is a, a, a comparative situation that there is something in a friend. That's why in the book of John, than to give his life for his friend. There is no greater love than this, than to give his life for his friend. So, God himself gave his peace, and his peace, he himself, he gave his life to the disciple. And in number three, it says there, 
I do not give to you as the world gives. Madali pong magbigay pag meron ka. Paano pag wala? Hello? It's easy to give if you have. Of course, kaya nga kapag bibigay ka, mas dahil meron ka eh. But not all, sometimes we have, but we cannot give. But Jesus Himself, He did not just give Himself, but He let the disciple show to them that the peace that I'm going to you is uncomparable to the peace of this world. Kaya alam niyo po tayo po mga followers ni Jesus, isa na, ang tingin sa atin para tayong na, 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 na nagiging silly daw, sabi na papraning daw. Kasi kahit may problema, saya pa rin, kumakanta pa rin. Amen? Bakit na na po sabi sa kanta? Dito ay masaya, sa langit masaya, ang na kay Kristo'y laging masaya. Naku, mahinang amen yan. Dito ay masaya, sa langit masaya, kay Kristo ay laging masaya. Amen! Amen. Masaya tayo. Why? We find the, we, we have the way out. Every time we are in trials and situations, sabi ko, Lord, kalkulado mo lahat ng problema ito. If you're going to see the top view, inaabangan mo lang yung tamang response natin, namin. And guess what? I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, the more we respond right to the situation, the more we are at peace with God. Amen? Habang tumatama ang attitude, ang response mo sa problema, the more nagiging payapa ang puso mo, the more natatapos ang mga Berlin Wall ng buhay mo. Amen? Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. That's why in Ephesians 4.7, as we have read a while ago, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind. Sa ESB po eh, binanggit yung heart and mind. Doon kanina sa NIB, mind lang, pero sa ESB, heart and mind. Hallelujah. Yung hindi ko pala pas may intindihan, the more I reconcile my peace to God, the more I understand the situation. Kaya hindi ka nagiging reclamites. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, bawal ang reclamites. Yan. Ano yung reclamites? Reklamo ng reklamo. Kaya hindi makagraduate. And number four, do not let your hearts be troubled. 1 Peter 5, 6, and 7, Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. Set aside self-righteous pride so that He may exalt you to the place of honor in His service. In short, the Lord allows trials in life so that the testing of your life will produce peace. And in the season of your peace, the Lord will be glorified. Kaya madalas po sa atin, hindi mapag-graduate ng Lord eh. Because we are not at peace with Him. We do not cast, we do not humble ourselves. And that is why, I, I mentioned it last NOP. Sometimes we keep on mentioning 1 Peter 5.7. Dito lang tayo nag stick Cast all your cares to the Lord. Cast all your cares to the Lord. You know what is cast? It is not casting the nets. Alam niyo po sa Bible, pag sinabing cast, the context that is yung mga lambat, fishing net. You have to cast. Pag nag-cast ka ng pakyut, wala kang makakast. When you say cast, all power, all strength, I cast it to you, Lord. Buong lakas mong ikakast sa Lord. Pero may requirement. Look at verse 6. Stay po natin tong verse. The first requirement is to humble ourselves before God. Kaya yung iba yung pakas ng net sila, pakiyot. Kaya bumabalik-balik sa pagkakamali. Kasi pakiyot yung cast. Dahil hindi natutunan munang mag-humble. Humbling to the Lord is repenting and giving our transformation of life for the Lord. Amen? Palakpakan nga natin ang Panginoon. Lord, sabi mo, cast all your cares. Bakit ganito pa rin? Eh, nag-humble down ka ba? Eh, puno, ka ng, puno tayo ng self-pride. How, how can you cast it fully to me? How can I understand all the things that you cast on me? Eh, hindi ka nag-humble down. Hindi tayo nag-humble down. Puno tayo ng pride chicken. Hello? Garlic chicken. Ano pang chicken? Crispy chicken. Lahat na ng chicken. That is why we always claiming this verse 
on a, sometimes in a wrong context. Because I give it all my worries. I give all my concern. But why this thing still here? Because you forgot to humble down first to the Lord. Amen? Alam niyo po, nakikipaghagel tayo sa Lord eh. Every time that there is self-pride, hindi makagalaw ang Lord. Kaya sabihin niyo po sa katabi mo, bitawan mo na. Amen? Amen? Because kapag ka po tayo, when we surrender up to God, everything it says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Amen? There is peace. Kaya tingnan niyo yung katabi niyo, peace na peace siya, inaantok na. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Tapos payapang payapa siya pag nagtuturo ako. Hindi siya nangangamba. Tahimik na tahimik siya. And do not be afraid. Amen? Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Do not be afraid. John 15.5 I am the vine, you are the branches, the one who remains in me, and I in him bears much fruit, for otherwise, apart from me, that is cut off from the vital union with me, you can do nothing. I am the vine. If we are connected to the Lord, we will not be afraid. Amen? If we are connected to the Lord, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you are the branches of God, you will stay connected with Him. I'm telling you, you can do all things through Christ who is strengthen us. Amen? Palakpakan po natin ang Lord. Hallelujah! So now, peace is a personalized gift. Can you say it with me? It is a personalized gift. Di ba ang sarap pong bigyan ng gift? Lalo pag kami pangalan mo. Na? Personalized. I want a personalized gift. Yan. Hindi yung nagpaparinig si pastora sa mga tatay, ha? Mother's Day na sa linggo. Hindi ako nagpaparinig. Peace as a personalized gift. So what does it mean? Mamaya nyo na po isipin yung i-request nyo. No? Makinig mo tayo muna. <laughs> the Bible records, again, 23 times that Jesus used the word peace in the New Testament. Five times in Matthew, two times in Mark, ten times in Luke, Six times in John. And some of these chapters, ito yung moment na talagang the disciple are being prepared sa time ng pag-alis ni Jesus. And it is mentioned, there is always peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Amen? So what does it mean? So the peace of Christ lead to, the, to hold the power, no? Ano mang fear? What is your wildest fear in life? God says, my peace is with you. Amen? Why we need to embrace pass? Bakit nga kailangan namin natin embrace pass yung God's comforting hope? As I've said a while ago, peace can be lost. Madali siyang mawala, pero ang hirap niyang i-earn. Tama po ba? We can only earn the peace if we are connected to the Lord, if we are with God, if we are saying, Lord, you know that song, Lord, I offer my life to you. Everything I've been through. Use it for your glory. Lord, I offer my days to you. Lifting my praise to you. As a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, Lord, I offer you my life. Ano pong kapayapaan ang meron tayo ngayon? Maybe some of us, pass, I just feel I am at peace when I am with my friends. But when I am alone, pass, I feel broken. Pass, I feel the peace in my job because I know I will be promoted soon. But when I am alone, I feel discouraged. I had the chance to work in a secular company like Pocket Bell, PTNT. I'm working before as an OD and training specialist. And one of my senior vice president told me, one day he asked, she asked me this, can we go to the penthouse? So we went there and tossed the building ng aming pong company sa Pocket, 
Sino nakakalan pocket bell? Alam niyo po yung pocket bell pa noon? Yung beeper? Beep, beep. So, nasa human resource po ako and I'm handling the OD specialist, uh, OD and training specialist department. She's rich. She is, I said, the businesswoman. Maraming pera, sabihin na natin. But when we went there on the penthouse, she told me, Des, what's your secret? Boss, what? What, what secret? Sabi niya. Why is it that amidst of the trials of your life, you remain calm? And I said, because I choose to. I choose to have peace. And my peace, and the author of my peace is God. Sabi niya, sometimes it's sad to be on top. Kasi ang taas na ng position niya. It's sad to be on top because you don't have any peace. A lot of expectations. And then I shared to, he, to her the good news, salvation. And I said, boss, you know what? You cannot gain everything in this world. What does the song say? Can we sing that song? Nothing in this world can satisfy me. Jesus, you alone can fill me up. Ano po yung susunod? I could gain the world and all its pleasure. But all these things will never be enough. Sing it with me. It is your love. It is your love. It is your goodness. It is your kindness. That fills me up. Yes, Lord. It is your grace, your tender mercy. It is your presence in my life that satisfies. Ano po yung pwedeng mag-fill up ng ating emptiness? It is the presence of God. That is why there are things that we have to learn Four things po na papasadaan kayo. Just request the, the worship team to be ready. One, pass. What will I do? Expect every promise of God. For you to embrace the comforting hope of God, young people, maybe your parents cannot always deal or attend to your problems. Young people, some of you probably cannot go dig deeper to what you are feeling right now. Your parents are not enough, I'm telling you. But the presence of God is more than enough to fill your emptiness, young people. The father of this church, maybe you are afraid on how are you going to bring up a good future for your children. You have skills, you have talents. But you know what? That is not enough. All fathers of this church proceed and embrace to the promises of God. Because the promises of God is a strong tower. The righteous run on it and they are safe. The more we receive the promises of God. In 2 Corinthians 1.20, For all the promises of God is Him are yes. And in Him, amen, to the glory of God through us. Ang sagot ng Lord ay laging yes. I will be with you. Amen. Shall we give the best clap of praise? The second thing is to embrace the inner peace. Maybe wala kang kapayapaan. You are here in Canada but you have no sense of direction. Dinala mo yung pamilya mo because you believe you can have a better life. And yet right now yung buhay niyo pa rin ganun pa rin. Can I gain peace? I have to get more jobs. Probably I can get peace. Many people have four jobs, three jobs, and yet they are still what? They're still lacking. Because nothing in this world can give us the peace except the presence of God. What do we do, Pas? Second, refuse to entertain unknown fears. Madalas natatakot tayo sa mga bagay na hindi katakot-takot. Ayaw nating pasukin kasi narinig natin nakakatakot. And you know what? Sometimes we are scared of things. It is not because we are scared on that. 
We are scared on what we are going to see on that. What, does it, what is the point, Paz? Natakot tayo kasi sinabi nila. Pero hindi pala. Papapasukin ka ng Lord sa mga bagay na, ka, na nakakatakot. And you think that you cannot do anything. Kasi ang gusto po ng Lord, when He rescues us, gusto niya makita niyang broken tayo. And when we are broken, the more we depend on Him, suddenly the fear will be gone. The more we struggle and do it with our own strength, the more the fear is there. John 16.33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace in this world. I am telling you this. What does it mean, Pas? But take heart. I have overcome the world. Hindi po pinangako ng Diyos na walang problema. Pero ang pinangako niya, I will be with you. Amen? Number three, live according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Romans 8, 6 and 16. To be carnally minded is death, but to spiritually minded is life and peace. The Spirit Himself bears witnesses with our spirit. What do you mean by this, Paz? The more, the more you deal the situation based on your wisdom and knowledge and understanding and strength, the more you will be weak. But the more you trust the Holy Spirit, the more you will know that He is making the best way for your life. Palakpakan nga po natin ng Lord. Lord, surrender na ako, Lord. Hindi ko na po kaya. Number four, love others even when they don't deserve it. Proverbs 10, 12, Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers all wrongs. Live love, sabi ni Pastor Rani. Love living. Live loving. Minsan mayroon tayong mga taong ayaw nating patawarin. You know what? Hindi naman kayo ang nagigain doon. Lalo lang tayong nasasaktan. The first reaction is to respond back if somebody hurt us. But if you see that we are also recipient of God's forgiveness, the more you will see that your heart must be of gratitude to God, that you must also give forgiveness. Kapag wala tayong pagpapatawad, wala po tayong kapayapaan. Sometimes you'll say, Today, I decide to forgive. Not because you apologize or because you acknowledge the pain that you caused me but because my soul deserve peace. Amen? Hindi ako magpapatawa dahil inamin mo na talagang sinaktan mo ako or dahil uh, gusto mo lang i-acknowledge na kamali ka. I forgive you because my soul deserve peace. And how are we going to do? Release forgiveness and the peace of God will come. Dito po magtatapos si Paz. Mabilis na apat lamang pong pagbibigay diin. What are the hindrances to embrace your inner peace? When you start to disobey God. Pag nag-disobey ka na, there is no peace, says God. For the wicked, wala pong, wala pong kapayapaan. The more you go opposite to the direction of God, wala ka talagang kapayapaan. Pag sinungaling ka lang sa parents mo, wala ka ng peace. So that is important. When you disobey God, wala na po agad peace. Yun po yung bantayan natin. Second, Satan lies and condemnation because the thief comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Trabaho po ni Satan yan. Sirain ang pamilya mo, sirain ang kapayapaan ng family mo. He will give a lot of lies. Umuwi lang ng late yung asawa mo, you will think a lot of lies. Saan kaya galing to? Eh, nag-overtime naman. Tapos nang binilan ka na regalo ko, tsaka ka natuwa, eh, inaway mo na. Satan will give a lot of lies. So you will doubt. And then when he started to put lies on you, sisirahin niya na yung pamilya mo. Doon siya masaya. But the God, God says, 
Jesus said, but I came here to give life and have it to the full. Sino po gusto dito magkaroon ng fullness of life? Amen! And then, it says there, unsettled issue. Ito po yung numanakaw ng peace natin pag may mga unsettled issue. Settle the matters quickly with your adversary who is taking you to the court. Do it while still together. Habang magkasama pa kayo, isettle nyo yung issues nyo. Bakit? Dahil pag nagkalayo kayo, there's somebody who will judge you and you will not be exempted for any single penny. You will be a judge. All of us will be judge. We are all accountable. Pas lugi ako. Inapi ako. Give it all to God. Release forgiveness. Because all of us will have accountability and because your soul deserve peace. Worry. These are the things that hinder us. Kung ang pag-iisip ay pagpapaganda, mag-isip na tayo ngayon. Kung ang pag-iisip ay makakatulong para humaba buhay natin, simulan na natin ngayon. But worry says in Matthew 6.34, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its. Wag mo nang dagdagan. Amen? But before Matthew 6.34, there is Matthew 6.33, and I know you know it. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added, shall be added unto you. Palakpakan po natin ang Lord. Isik mo si Lord, huwag kang mag-worry. Dahil sabi niya, therefore, ang bawat araw may kanya-kanyang problema, huwag ka nang makidagdag. May disenyong problema ang bawat araw. So in, I, in my application, there's two more. The fear and living outside the center will of God. Ito po yung mga bantayan natin. Yung takot at yung gumagalaw tayo sa center will ng... Hindi ho, doon lang sa will the very center will of God. You can be in the will of God, pero nasa bandang gilid ka. Ang hinahanap ng Lord, center. Dahil pag center, focus ka kay Jesus, the author, the finisher, and the perfecter of your faith. Amen? And how are we going to apply? First, let God control your life and always choose to stay in His refuge. Proverbs 16.9 The mind of a person plans his way, but the Lord directs their step. Kapag ang step mo ay ordered by the Lord, bumagsak ka man, itatayo ka uli ng Diyos. Palakpakan nga natin ng Lord. For the step of a good man is ordered by the Lord, and He commanded in His way. Though He fall, He shall not be cast down. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. Discipline ourselves to pray and have a gratitude heart. Pwede mo bang pasalamatan niyo yung mga nasa katabi niyo? Kung parents niyo yan, kung asawa niyo yan, can you say thank you to your life? Salamat sa buhay mo ha. Pinatawad mo ko. Pinagtsatsagaan mo ko. Amen? Ang sarap pagka ganun ay payapa ka eh. And next, last but not the least, let our intentional trust to Him be seen and always embrace Christ's redemption and justification. Every moment that we commit mistakes, do not run away. Go back to the throne and ask for His forgiveness. And your peace will be reconciled with God. Then you will experience God's comforting hope. Wag po natin hukayin pa yung kasalanan ng ilang taon na. Just, let us just release forgiveness. It will not work. It will not help us. People who hurt us, people who maligned us, people who persecute us, people who slander us, just release the blessing because your soul deserve peace. As I conclude, ito po yung sinabi ni Pastor Bobot one time po sa aming Uh, fellowship po, it's, I think it's January of a vision cascading po ng buong pastors and leaders of JL Worldwide. Kinote niya po ito and I was, I was enticed with this. Sabi niya, 
sa Cambridge Bible for School and Colleges, sa isang research niya, he gives what his own, what he might have kept, what has cost him a life of suffering, and a cruel death to bestow, what is open to, to friend and foe alike, who have nothing of their own to give in return. Yung bagay na para kay Jesus na lang, binigay pa niya. So anong dahilan para hindi niya ibigay ang kapayapaan ng puso mo? The comfort that you need from God. May pinaghanap ka ng makakasama mo sa buhay. Maybe yung mahanap ka ng breakthrough sa finances mo, sa pamilya mo, sa trabaho mo. God is ready to give you that breakthrough. Just go to His mighty presence because He is our comforting hope. We are recipient of God's promised peace. Therefore, peace is not to be kept but need to be shared and express the comforting hope that we owe from God. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon and let us all together this month celebrate the comforting hope of God. Shall we arise? Sabi po dun sa awit, be still, Lord. God is commanding us to be still. He wants us to be still in His presence no matter what problems, what persecutions that takes in our life. Maybe right now, stable ka. You have a good job. You are earning well. You have a children. You have a family. Everything is settled. Pero pag nag ka, you know yourself, there is something wrong. There is emptiness. This time, let us just embrace God's comforting hope. Under your wings. Why? 
Ikaw lamang. Oh, I want to follow the Holy Spirit, God. Shikarababahai. I just want to follow the Holy Spirit. I know we have the Holy Communion right now. Hallelujah. We will sing this song one more time. For those who have been their petitions and cried to the Lord, maybe you are dealing with such giant problems in your life. Maybe you are seeking for healing. Maybe you are seeking for breakthroughs. You feel so tired. Napapagod ka na. Today, the Lord is your comfort and your peace. I want to make a general prayer and I don't want to disobey the Holy Spirit. I just want you to come forward, those who want to be prayed for. I will make a general prayer. Just come forward. Your situation, your trials may be undefined, but today, the Lord will lift you up and give you the peace and the comfort as you come to the altar as you come to the altar as you lift your hands to God we will sing this song one more time do not allow the spirit of fear to bother you but let the spirit of God's hope and comfort be upon you hallelujah let us sing be still suliranin man Panginoon ay dumating Pray for. Don't be ashamed. Just come forward. Lord, I am surrendering my life. Pagod na ako, Panginoon. Tangi ikaw na lang. I just speak a general prayer. Your act of faith. As you come forward, this is your act of faith.
Jesus.
Marami pong salamat, Father. We thank you and we bless you. We love you, Holy Spirit, for making a difference in our life. Thank you that this month, Lord, we recognize your comforting hope. Walang sino man, Lord, ang pwedeng mag up ng emptiness ng puso po namin. Tanging ikaw lang. And we want to always stand on your promises that you died for us. And you gave your one and only begotten son. And the peace that we want, Lord, is just a click for you, Lord, to respond to all our needs. Kung naibigay mo ang yung kaisa-isang buktong na anak na si Jesus, how much more, Lord, yung kapayapaan ang inihingi po namin ngayon. Salamat po Diyos, katagpuin mo po ang bawat isa. And I pray, Father God, that whatever the petitions, healing, miracles, even those who are watching via Zoom, Lord, or even our live streaming, whatever the deepest desire of their hearts, maybe breakthrough in finances, healing, deliverance, restoration of a broken relationship of the family, even petition, Lord, to have their status here in Canada. God, you are the author of our life. And whatever you started, Lord, He who began a good work in us, you are faithful, faithful to complete it until the days of your coming. Salamat po, Panginoon. Salamat po. Give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we open our Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 to 26? For I receive from the Lord what I also passed on to you the Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed took bread and said this is my body which is for you do this in remembrance of me and in the same way after supper he took the cup saying this cup is the covenant in my blood do this in do this whenever you drink it and in, rem in remembrance of me for whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Shall we distribute the element before we pray? Tayo po ay uh, kinikilala ang kahalagahan po ng pagkamatay ni Jesus sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Na sa kanyang latay at dugong dumanak sa krus ng Kalbaryo, tayo po ay nagkaroon ng kagalingan. Tayo po ay napatawad sa ating mga kasalanan. And this is our way of recognizing the Lord's goodness in us. Recognizing the greatest love of all in this world by giving His one and only begotten Son. At habang ino-honor po natin, sabayan din po natin na sa atin pong Holy Communion ngayon, isasama po natin ang panalangin po natin para sa ating bansang Pilipinas. Nang ating bayang Pilipinas, our nation, the Philippines, will be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. That by the stripe of Jesus Christ, our nation, Philippines, will be healed. We will have a united prayer as well. Because on Monday, next week, not this coming, but the next week, after this week, will be the national election. Iiyak po natin ang ating bansa. Amen? that God will have mercy to our country, the Philippines. Taas po natin ang ating Holy Communion. Father, we bless you as we lift, Lord, this bread symbolizing your body that was, hallelujah, experience, lashes, and pain just for us to receive, Lord, the healing. Marami pong salamat. You said, Lord, this body this is your body, which is for us. That we have to remember it, Lord. Na walang sakit at karamdaman, maging problema man, ang pwede po, Lord, magpahiwalay sa pagmamahal namin sa inyo. The true, Lord God, the lashes and the stripes that you've experienced, beaten and stricken, Lord. Naniniwala kami, God, with all faith that all our sickness and diseases are now healed. Even God, the diseases, sickness, 
from the past, emotional, physical, whatever it is, Lord. Even pains in the family, God, it includes the power of the cross. And we receive your mighty healing that by your stripes, Lord, we are healed. We bless you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we lift our cups? Father God, you said here in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 25, in the same way after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Shall we pray, Father? Thank you for such wonderful covenant. You said in your word, new covenant. Because every day, God, is a new morning. Every day, God, there are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Kaya tanuman, Panginoon, whatever sins that we've done, mistakes we committed even from the past to the present and even to the future, we thank you, God, because by your blood, we receive the remissions of our sins. We receive such forgiveness. And there is no reason for us to live under condemnation because by your blood, God, our sins have been washed away and now, Lord, whiter than the snow. And we thank you, God. Kaya, Lord, walang dahilan upang kami magtago, lumayo. Sa panahon na kami nagkakasala, Lord, we have to just come down before you and repent and receive your forgiveness because, God, through your blood that was shed at the cross of Calvary, we receive your forgiveness. Salamat po, Panginoon. And we honor you, we bless you of what you've done on the cross. In Jesus' name, amen. Shall we drink the juice? Tayo po'y saglit na yumuko at Pwede po tayo nga, uh, if you're comfortable to hold hands together, if not, that's fine. Let us just have a united prayer for our Philippines, uh, our beloved nation, Philippines. Father, we are in united spirit, holding our hands together with our loved ones, with our church member. Itinataas po namin ang aming bayang Pilipinas. You are God in control of the upcoming election of our nation. Being a Filipino, Lord, it is our duty to pray for our nation. We love the Philippines because, Lord, it is not because we have still loved ones there, but this is the nation where you allow us to live. And we are blessed, God, that we all have the second nation, the family, Lord, of Canada kami binibless mo dito. Kaya naman, Lord, ganun din po ang aming panalangin. Patuloy kang manguna, be with our uh, country, Lord, in the coming election on May 9. Let your name alone be declared. And we pray, O God, to intervene in this May 9 election, to put the right people in our government, the one that is God-fearing, the one that was love for the nation and for the country. The, the one that loves the the, the, the plan, the agenda, Lord, that you've prepared. The one that loves you, Lord, not for the personal gain, ang merong pagmamahal para sa Diyos at sa bayan. Lord, ito po ang aming panalangin. We may not be there, but we in united spirit, we are praying. Heal our land, and we declare, God, that you are the Lord over the Philippine election on May 9. I-bless mo, Lord, ang lahat ng precincts, Maging Lord, ang mga teachers and volunteers, let them be united and have the fear of the Lord. Even the media, we pray that the media will only tell what is true and just. At hayaan mo ikaw ang sa aming bayan. Salamat po, there will be a peaceful, successful election in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and thank you Holy Spirit for your loving presence today. And to you alone, we give the glory, the praise, and the honor. In Jesus' name, we pray.